Time now for your health radar. A shocking new study shows that statin drugs can actually make you more likely to die from a heart attack. That study found that the lower, uh, that the lower, to lower a person's cholesterol levels, the higher the risk of dying is in the period following a heart attack or something like that. Scientists have identified a key protein that may lead to the development of Alzheimer's. The researchers say the breakthrough could provide a new drug target for dementia patients. And new research shows Ebola can linger in male survivors up to nine months after initial infection. The study of close to 100 men in Sierra Leone shows the risk of infection seems to decline over time. And need a reason to relax? According to a new study, yoga and meditation may reduce the amount of time you find yourself in the doctor's office. The relaxation techniques are known to ease stress and anxiety. And Newsmax Health is out now with a list of the top 100 health blogs for 2015. Head on over to Newsmax.com and click on the Health tab at the top of the page to see who tops the list. Well, earlier this week, Miranda talked to Newsmax Health editor Nick Tate about Social Security and Obamacare. Sixty-five million retirees and other Social Security recipients woke up to some bad news this week. For the first time in five years, their annual benefits will not be raised. The reason? A decline in inflation. And joining us now to discuss this further is Newsmax Health Editor Nick Tate. He is the author of the new book, The Baby Boomer Survival Guide. As always, good to have you here. So what does this mean for the many people in our country who are on? Social Security. The bottom line, less money to live on. Now, the problem is that seniors don't really benefit from the drop in inflation the way that most Americans do. Seniors, for instance, gas prices have been down about 30% in the last year. Well, seniors don't commute. Don't commute. They don't right. work. Many of them are retired. So they're not really seeing the benefits there. But at the same time, their medical costs as everyone's medical costs have been going up, in fact, eating a greater share of their spending and their budget. So at the same time that they're paying more for health care and other kinds of costs, their Social Security benefits are not going to rise. And that's going to catch a lot of folks, I think, in a kind of financial bind. Will this affect Medicare premiums at all? It will, in fact, affect Medicare premiums. Um, not only does that, that low incre the, the, the cost of living increase mm -hmm. usually covers the increasing costs for Medicare, that's not going to be the case this year, number one. And for 15 million folks who are on Social Security, they could see their Medicare prices go up, their costs go up by about 50%. 50? 50. 50, huge. A, quirk, huge. a quirk in the law means that allows for those individuals, most, most recipients who get Social Security have their Medicare premiums deducted from Social Security before they get their benefits. But those that don't, are not protected from that benefit and they could see their costs go up by as much as 50 percent according to the, to the administration as well as those who are on higher incomes um, and, and, and other individuals. It adds up to about 15 million uh, Americans. So unless Congress takes some action to help, we could be seeing millions of older folks who are in some serious trouble. I see some calls being made right now. Mm. Let's talk about an open enrollment now yes. for Obamacare that's just around the corner. That's what right. can we expect? Well, we're going to, again, it's not just seniors who are paying more for health care. We're all paying more for health care, largely to fund the Affordable Care Act. The projections this year are that health insurance premiums are going to be up between 4 and 7 percent, which is obviously much higher than inflation. And for most Americans, it's a lot higher than their wage increases for this year. Those plans will open up on the Obamacare exchanges in mid-November, and you'll have a couple months to make a decision. But the expectation is this is not a free health care program. Affordable Care Act, despite the name, is making health care less affordable for lots of Americans. Nick Tate, always good to have you. Again, the name of the book is Baby Boomer Survival Guide.